Hey, everyone. A number of you have been asking us, the Devious Decoder card, when is it getting back on the site that I don't name because I try not to be crass and commercialized? Uh, and the answer is maybe never. And I know that's disappointing many of you because there's, you know, a whole a sign up. Let me know when this is back in stock thing. And there's a good number of names underneath it because I like it. Let's be honest. Credit card sized decoder for keys and pins. That's pretty bomb ass. I'm very proud of this. So you might be asking, why the hell is it never coming back in stock? What did you, you, you piss somebody off? You owe it? You lose it in a poker game? The rights to it? No, uh, I I was never satisfied. I love that it's polymer. I mean, we've never made a secret of the fact it's, it's PCB material, right? Um, I like that it's lightweight. I like that it's got that cool red color. But I've never liked the fact that we didn't get the precision on these slots that I've always really wanted. And once in a while, remember we had that really really bad batch from that one supplier. We never went with them again. Uh, the new supplier, the new warehouse, you'd think they should be able to do PCB drilling and milling with the precision needed. Um, we've never been at the price we want them for, to, you know, we've never been happy, which is why we are retiring the PCB board DDC 20 and we're replacing it. This is the DDC A, A for America, because as you've been asking for a long time, there is going to be a Euro version, an Australian version, uh, with locks that are specific to what you see more in those territories. That's coming out very soon. But for now, this is damn near the same functionality that you saw before, with the exception, of course, that it is stainless steel. So while you're not going to slip it into as many non-permissive environments, let's be honest, was that ever really the thing you were doing with this? No, what you want is to be able to measure key cuts, and to be able to measure pins. As many of you know, this was inspired by the old lab or American key supply. You know, there's a billion people have made this kind of key gauge before, but it was always keys, right? You were measuring keys in the field, not pins. So I initially did some test runs on the laser and we eventually did some engraving, some silk screening. We tried out this process. It was a really good job with Andy working with us on this. Turned out, People loved it. We did have the plastic version, but for what we want now, this, this is the wave of the future. And we've got them. You'll see them. We're replacing this old item on the site that I don't talk about. This is what's there now. Uh, we'll do a little bit of testing with it. We'll give a little how-to video in case for some reason you've never seen these used. But uh, yeah, that's what we got. I'll, I'll tell you right now, that's the giveaway. Uh, a number of them. There have been a few videos I've had recently that have had no giveaways, aren't there? So we're going to give away, I'm going to say, how many do I have here? We got one, two, three, four. Uh, we got five. Five of these. These, these suckers right here. Yeah. These five right here, out of the many rounds of prototyping and revision, uh, this is the finished product. So that's what I'm going to give away to all of you. I really do appreciate everything. I know there was that week I was traveling and I wasn't around. And, you know, you wind up getting a longer video from me about travel bag supplies. But I really do miss giving away stuff and showcasing simple little items just like this. So a quick how-to guide's coming up. In the meantime, I hope you really like the evolution of the product. Got ourselves in a small assortment of Schlage keys here. And how would we use this tool? Well, we would look up in the Schlage section, right? That's what we've got up in these slots. And do we want which slot here? Well, we want the slot that is for keys, not the slot that is for pins. This key seems to be what? A four, two, six, four, Six. Is that agreement? Yes, it is. Let's try this one. Four. Three. Six. Five. A little click over seven. You saw I had to give it just a little bit of a, a twist and a push. Sometimes if a, if a cut is really tight, that's the reason I do like the steel. The old red cards, the old PVC red and greens, they would bend and flex a little bit. People would be like, oh, is it, which slot is it? A little, and I'd tell people, don't be too heavy handed. This, this is steel. If you're ever questioning which slot it is, make sure you've really lined it up perfectly straight and you can give it a little encouragement on the backside. You're not gonna hurt the metal. So that last cut was definitely a seven. 
Does that agree? Yes, it does. Quick set keys, same process. Find the quick set gauges in the middle, slot it on through. First cut here is a six, four, five, six, five. The cuts down at the bottom look a little bit different than the others. That's because we get to double dip a little bit on pins. When it comes to Master and American Lock, they use the same pins, but the keys have different gauge measurements. So let's take our Master Lock M1 key. We've got what appears to be a six, a two, so all the way over there we go. We got a five, and this last one's tight. Looks like a one. Six, two, five, one. Yeah, we're not going with the blind code. I stamped the genuine bidding code on here later. An American lock. We've got a seven, because you remember, we're not looking at these numbers. We're looking at these numbers for American lock. We've got a seven, a five, an eight, Really deep cut there. We've got a three and a two. Seven, five, eight, three, two. But of course, the real magic for locksmiths and penetration teams for the Devious Decoder card is that it doesn't just measure keys, it measures pins. If we've got ourselves a pin that we pulled out of a lock, no need to take out a large kit or calipers, you just slide it over. This Schlag pin is a value of six. Maybe you've disassembled a quick set. What size key pin is this? That is a five. Now here's a little key pin I pulled out of a master lock. What does that come down to? Well, it drops through right here, but now this is master. So that's a value of five. If on the other hand, you were dealing with a pin out of an American lock, where's that drop through? Drops through right here, but it's not a four. That is an American lock value of five. And what about these extra fine thin slots down in here? Well, those, as you can see, are for mastering sized pins, little wafers. Now, you're not likely to find them in padlocks or honestly even in quick sets these days, but if you're in a commercial environment, you're taking a Schlage door apart, you get some mastering wafers in there, go ahead and decode them right on the same card, figure out the entire top master key of the system. This is not just for locksmiths, it's for pen testers as well. And that is the new Devious Decoder card. Look for them out there. Well, I won't say they're on the website, even though they are. I'll tell you they're in the student kits for everyone who comes and takes covert methods of entry with us at Red Team Alliance. And uh, they, they are the giveaway this week. Look down in the doobly-doo for that link. But big, big thanks to everyone who was involved in transitioning to the new version. Uh, we're super proud of how they look. They're real freaking sharp. I love them. If you use them, tell me about what you think. As always, wherever you go, whatever you do, stay safe out there.